Good day, Merry Meet. My name is Glennis and I am the Witch of Whitetail Hollow. I want to warmly welcome you to my channel. I want to thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm sharing a, a wonderful, beautiful oil that serves a few different purposes. And I'm hoping that everyone, especially this time of the year, will make this, get this charged up if you are so inclined and have it ready for Samhain and after Samhain and things like that. But I have a few questions that I kind of want to answer. And part of it I am answering with this oil recipe. I have a friend here. I, yeah, I think you guys can see him right here. My little friend that wants to remain unnamed, although I know his name. And I spoke with his former owner or former friend uh, the other day. And they asked me and I said, well, yes, he's finally, finally, after all this time, revealed his name to me. But he has asked that I not reveal it to them or to you guys. And out of respect for him, and it's a him, I, of course, agreed to do that because I do love spirit keeping and I do want my spirits happy. But there is also another reason why I will not say his name. And I think you guys can probably guess what that is. But he wanted to join us today. He wanted to show everyone he is doing well and he is doing happy too. He is a an excellent, excellent helper in spells, in some spells. And the person that gifted me this spirit had given me a little bit of indication that maybe this particular spirit was a little too hard to control or, you know, something to that effect. And they said, well, maybe you'll have better luck. Well, I haven't had any trouble at all. And I will show you why I have complete control. Because you don't want anything in your house. Now, if you've gone out and gone, just for example, if you've gone out and gone thrifting and bought something that was clearly, of course, someone else, and you suspect that it has a spirit attachment to it, has negativity attached to it, or someone may advertise it as haunted. Well, if you've bought it as haunted, then more than likely you're not going to want to use this oil because this will absolutely release any kind of negativity associated with an object. So if you suspect um, your great aunt's picture frame is haunted or whatever, then you will want to use this oil just very, very lightly and ask your spirit guide, your ancestors, whoever it is that you work with to release any and all negativity from a particular item. Now, I did not ask for this spirit to be released because we work together. I do use this as a way of control. And in my sacred space and in my home, I am going to absolutely be in complete control. That's just how things are here. <laughs> I am a very hard taskmaster. And so far, he is a happy camper. And he's very, very thrilled to be here right now. And uh, so, and you know, you never know. He may come and join us a little bit more often. You, you just never know. In the, in the upcoming couple of months, we will just see where that winds up as. But this is actually a take two from... <laughs> A few minutes ago, I don't know what happened with my video, and I'm hoping that the situation has rectified itself here, but I started with this, oh, by the way, <laughs> by the way, 
this is my uncrossing oil. I actually have sent this to someone really, really lately. Uh, again, anytime there's any kind of psychic negativity, whether someone else put it there or you manifested it yourself, in you know maybe a particular room or a particular situation this is what you need or it could be your car uh, you will want to anoint your tires uh, it doesn't really smell bad but if, if you're very very sensitive to and i mean it has a very slight hint of rose very slight hint of lavender but you if you're very very sensitive then you may not want to put it inside your car, but personally, what I do is that if I feel like there's an object, I will just use this first. I'll anoint my hands. Then I will anoint my feet to ground me. And then I will anoint my hands again. And then I will go to the item, whether it be a car, a bicycle, <laughs> or whatever. It could be a particular room. If it's a particular room, you will want to take this and mix this with a little bit of salt and anoint the corners of your room. And again, just call your spirit guides, your ancestors, your whoever it is that you're working with, and, and ask them and tell them all the negativity in this space has to leave. Whether you brought it in knowingly or not. This is the way to go. This is my uncrossing oil. I used this on a spell a few months ago for a fellow YouTuber who had come to me and said, money is owed to me and I'm kind of sitting around waiting on it. I'm applying for jobs and nothing's happening. My relationship is kind of... Eh. <laughs> And, you know, things weren't real great. So I didn't send them this, but I did do an uncrossing spell for them. And I think with, it was pretty shortly. I would have to go back and look at my records. And shortly, I mean, within a, a lunar cycle. The money came that was owed, rightfully and legally owed. A job was obtained, even though it was it or is not their preferred job. It's a job nonetheless. Their relationship, I hope, I believe, as far as I know, has kind of smoothed out a bit. And as far as I know, things are going better. So you can use an uncrossing oil for any of those things. I use this if I've done any kind of negative work, uh, either for myself or anyone else. I use this a wee bit, a wee bit of this in a spiritual bath after I've done negative work. You can also use this if you really feel like your home is affected. You can pour a little bit of this in a floor wash. And again, if you feel, you know, kind of like you're not grounded, like you're feeling a little bit off, anoint your feet with this. It's wonderful wonderful stuff and like I said you you may want to anoint anything that you feel like it's got bad vibes to it use this but what I use is jojoba oil and I use jojoba mostly because I am using it on my hands and on my feet and in my bath and jojoba will soak in much quicker a little bit of rose if you don't have rose oil use dried rose, whatever it is that you have, a little bit of rue, a little bit of angelica, lavender, either dried lavender or lavender oil, whatever works for you, vetiver, and I'm adding a few extra things in here. You guys, you guys know me, a little bit of indigo, and just, and this is just in case that whatever the negativity is that is you feel like is working against you, indigo. And we've kind of discussed indigo before. Um, 
Comfrey and Angelica Root, Licorice Root. Uh, let's see what Hyssop, of course, Hyssop, Hyssop and Rue, a wonderful, wonderful combination, and Damiana. And that's exactly what is in here. And again, this is just one of those wonderful, lovely things that you should always, always have in at your disposal because you never know, especially if you've come home, you've gone out shopping or working or whatever, and you've and you've just run into so many negative people. And unfortunately, there's they are out there. They are so out there. This is one of those wonderful things. Add a few drops of this to your bath. But charge this as long as you care to, as short as you care to. But with so many herbs and roots and things like that, what I would probably do is take a funnel some cheesecloth and strain this and have this absolutely at your disposal. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today. Merry part and I hope to merry meet again. Goodbye guys.